Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at former RAF Woolfox Lodge. This seems to be what's left of the control tower. I'm not sure what this is, it looks a bit like a chimney stack or something like that, but uh, if anybody knows, please uh, let me know in the comments. It looks as though there's been quite a few buildings here, because you've got the uh, concrete foundations. Looks as though there's buildings in the uh, woods over there. We'll have a walk over and uh, take a look in a minute. And this looks like the remains of some kind of uh, farmhouse. I have done a bit of research on Google and uh, it seems to say that the um, RAF used some kind of farmhouse and farm buildings for like uh, headquarters. Um, I don't know whether I'm right or not but uh, again if anybody knows please let me know in the comments. Well I've done a little bit of research about RAF Woolfox and it uh, opened in 1941 as a reserve landing ground for RAF Cottesmore and then it became a satellite to RAF North Luffenham. Um, the station status was granted in uh, June 1943 and the wartime airfield comprised of three tarmac runways and one type B1 and four type 2 aircraft hangars there was uh, temporary accommodation for 1149 male and 252 female personnel during the uh, later years of the war the runway deteriorated to such a degree that the airfield had to be closed to fly in 
by spring 1954 and in 1960 it became a Bristol Bloodhound surface to air missile site. In 1966, Harry F. Woolfox Lodge closed and uh, it, it was then sold off by the Ministry of Defence and is now currently used for agricultural use and uh, industrial purposes. Well, this looks like some kind of uh, Stanton-style um, air raid shelter. I uh, haven't got any uh, torch with me, so uh, I can't go inside and, and see an awful lot, really. This looks like some kind of catch or latch for uh, possibly a door which was on here at one time. Awful lots of concrete sections from buildings which were in here at one time. And this is the other end of the wood. Seems to be some kind of storage rooms or uh, bomb storage, you know, something like that. seem to be pretty well protected whatever they are these big um, brick walls and these um, earth mounds if anybody knows please let me know Well, certainly well made, whatever they were used for.
and this looks like some kind of taxiway or or perimeter roadway there's lots of them all, all over the place Anyway, let's get that drone up and have a good fly around and uh, see what the air feels like uh, because from the uh, roadway there you, you can actually see lots of buildings around the uh, perimeter of the airfield so it would be quite interesting to have a look with the drone. It looks like these buildings were some kind of garages and the uh, landowner straight farmer is obviously using them as uh, livestock shelters now.
I'd like to say a big thank you to one of my subscribers for asking me to uh, do this particular uh, project. Uh, I found it very, very interesting. Um, if anybody else is uh, anywhere that they'd like me to go and film and document, please let me know in the comments. Well, that's it for former Arief Woolfox Lodge. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you don't already do so, please like and subscribe, as it really, really helps me uh, make these fantastic videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.